I know I said I was done with BC Rich, but I'm back for one more. Not even two weeks after I announced my retiring from the BC Rich saga, I got a myriad of requests to bring it back while the wound from their most recent business endeavor is still fresh. What am I talking about? I'm of course referring to their collaboration with Netflix, or more specifically with Stranger Things. Full disclosure, I've never seen so much as a single episode of Stranger Things, but I don't think that that's relevant right now. So as far as I understand, these limited run warlocks are made to look like a warlock that some character named Eddie in the show played. The guitars were on pre-order for a while, and as of recording this, they're currently shipping them out. There are two versions of this warlock, one import version for $900 available in just solid black or this relic crackle finish, and a roughly $5,000 version also in that crackle finish. I know that sounds ridiculous, uh, because it is. The most ridiculous thing, however, is the fact that even the $900 warlock has the specs of a $400 to $450 guitar. The other half of the price is just markup because it's a collector's item apparently and has the Stranger Things and Netflix logos etched into the backplate. I'm going to be focusing on the import in this video because I think we can all agree that buying a guitar for $5,000 that has the specs of like a $1,500 guitar but a finish that was seen in a Netflix show is ridiculous and hardly worth talking about. <laughs> It gets worse though, because in regards to the $900 Warlock, BC Rich is just straight up lying on their website and social media about the specs it has. <laughs> I'm quoting their description from Guitar Center in their website. The Floyd Rose 1000 series locking tremolo is perfect for launching screaming dive bombs, bewitching warbles, and trance-like trills. It has a Floyd Rose special. <laughs> Yes, by all accounts, from everyone who's received one, the $900 import Warlock is equipped with no more than a Floyd Rose Special Tremolo. Not 1000, which is made of the same components as the original German ones, just slightly shittier tuning stability in my experience, but no, it's a Floyd Rose Special. The lowest of the low that still has their branding on it. Or oh, this Instagram commenter asking if the necks on the cheaper imports have the same crackle finish as the bodies. BC Rich's response? A resounding yes! But I'm afraid that's a lie, at least according to their pictures on both their website and Guitar Center's. Yikes. <laughs> also on their website are pictures of the backplates completely blank with nothing written on or etched into them. Here's a picture of the actual guitar you will receive, with both the Stranger Things and Netflix logos etched into the backplate. How very horrible that looks. Also notice how even on Guitar Center's website there is no crackle finish on the neck, it's either pictured as natural wood or like a satin black finish. Or here's a picture where on the sides of the headstock of the NJ series Warlock, you can clearly see unfinished wood. Here's that same headstock on that same guitar on BC Rich's website, but this time painted black. <laughs> as for the rest of the guitar, it's equipped with in-house tuners and pickups, so you're essentially paying $900 for an instrument with the specs of a 300 euro Harley Benton from 5 years ago. <laughs> To me what this seems like is like at some point they made one prototype that had a crackle finish on the neck, a Floyd Rose 1000 tremolo, all that fancy stuff, and they, according to that prototype, just listed all the specs on the website, even though that's not representative of the guitar that you'll get if you buy it. <laughs> Which is no good, that's basically a scam. Speaking of scam, by the way, when I uploaded my short update video about the BC Rich Instagram page being hacked and the hackers offering you the import warlock for $499 to lure you in, I got a bunch of comments like, oh, even the hackers are more reasonable than BC Rich themselves, which while funny, I do find speaks volumes, especially coming from BC Rich fans. So all this to say, please refrain from buying these guitars, indulge in some other way, but don't buy a Stranger Things branded guitar just because it has a crackle finish, not even on the entire thing that you saw on a Netflix show once, that's pointless. In fact, you could have an exact replica of the $5,000 one made for substantially less than $5,000. Personally, I think BC Rich is definitely on their way out at this point. Also, I've recently been hit up on Instagram by Bill Xavier, the CEO of BC Rich, and he said, you know, he'd like to speak to me on the phone or whatever. I said, no, please go away. I'm not going to show you the DMs so as to not just piss anyone off. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. But yes, I rejected him and I said I was done and I wouldn't like to be associated with BC Rich anymore. But here I am making another video. This is really the end of the saga. It was a nice four part series, but I'm never coming back to this topic again because honestly, at this point, it's boring. That's how ridiculous it is. But I guess enjoy this as a bonus video this week. It was too funny not to bring it up. Over here you can watch some of my other videos from the BC Rich saga. You can subscribe to my channel somewhere down there if you feel like it. All my social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok is in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you next week.